Hi and uh, welcome to this tutorial on how to make a high quality guitar video for YouTube. In this video I'm going to guide you through uh, the choice of cameras. Do you need one camera or several cameras? What kind of uh, camera angles you should use to make the video look good? How to record the video to make your life easier in the editing process? How to synchronize your video with the audio? And how to use uh, the multicam editing features in Sony Vegas. And then finally, how to color correct and render your video. So, let's get started. So, first things first, what kind of camera do I need? Well, uh, any camera is going to do the job as long as you can get the files onto your computer. If the camera can record audio, then that's a plus two, because that will make the synchronization of your audio and video much easier. This is uh, a picture of my first professional camera, which I owned several years ago, and I sold it a long time ago. Now I'm using a Canon 550D, which is a relatively cheap DSLR, and it has great video recording capabilities, as well as audio recording. The audio recording is not great, but it does the job, as we're not going to use the audio from the camera in the final product. Some people are going to think that you need more than one camera to make your multi-camera video, but that's definitely not true. The best solution is actually just to use one camera and record yourself several times. The reason for this is that uh, there's quite a big chance that you're going to screw up a couple of times while playing in the video, and having more than one take is going to make it easier to cover up your mistakes. We'll get into that later. So let's move on to uh, what kind of camera angles we should use. It's a good idea to uh, use three or more camera angles, as two would be quite boring in the long run, and the more the merrier. It's quite important that uh, your camera angles are substantially different. Don't just use three slightly different camera angles, because that would lead to what we call jump cutting, which doesn't look good at all in the editing and the final product. So let's have a look at some of the camera angles that uh, we're going to use for this project. I've already recorded these for a previous video. So here's the uh, overview of the entire guitar. You can see that there's a lot of depth in this uh, image. We got the whole neck and uh, a bit of it is out of focus, which uh, just looks good. And we even got the uh, axe effects in the background, which makes for quite an interesting shot. And I'm also using the natural lighting from my window, which is up here. And the next angle, which is a uh, close-up of the uh, picking hand. And finally, we got this one, which is the kind of a close-up look of the uh, fretting hand. Now, when you're uh, recording these angles, it's a good idea to have your music running in the background. If you do have speakers, use them. If you're like me and don't have any speakers at the moment, only headphones, it's, uh, it's possible to do this, but it gets uh, quite a bit more challenging to uh, synchronize the video in the editing. So if you have your music running in the background while you're playing over it, it's going to make your life a whole lot easier while editing your video. Now for the uh, actual synchronization of the uh, video and audio, we're going to bring up our files, we're going to find my uh, audio file, drag it into Sony Vegas, put it right there, and I'm going to find my video files, which are this one, this one, and this one, drag them into project media and this is where it gets fun we're going to take our first track put it in there on top of our audio and now we're simply going to have to look at the waveforms of the audio to find out what matches and what doesn't match so we're going to make sure that uh, Ignore event grouping is turned off. I'm just going to drag this video in a bit. And we'll 
ground look. Let's see. This looks like it could be correct. So you can see the spikes in the volume line up. You can also look for several places in the song where this happens. Just like here. And here. Yeah, this looks good. So let's try to play it back and see how it looks. You might also want to check that your uh, preview settings are set to preview or draft because if they are set to some higher settings you can experience some synchronization issues with the image. So I'm just going to set it to draft half. Alright, that's here. Yeah, that looks really good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to drag this all the way to the start again just so we don't accidentally move it around <coughs> and then we're going to press ignore event grouping select the audio hit delete and I'm going to insert another video track and just put this one up here you can also mute this track now so it won't bother you while you're synchronizing your other tracks. So let's take our next track, do the same thing. Put it down here. Uncheck event grouping. Try to line it up with the spikes. Like so. Seems to be about correct. Drag it over here to the start again. Check ignore event grouping. Select the audio, hit delete. Insert another video track. Put it up there and mute. And then our final track. Let's see, whoops, that's what happens when you don't uncheck the ignore event grouping. So now we have all our tracks synchronized. Just going to delete the audio from this one, unmute these, and the next step is going to be the multi camera editing. And uh, we're just going to delete this empty audio track since it doesn't contain anything. So, in order to make our multi camera track, we're going to select all our tracks, holding control and clicking them, only the video tracks. Then we're going to go to Tools, Multi Camera, Create Multi Camera Track. And then we're going to press Control Shift D, which brings up our multi camera editing tool. And the rest is really, really simple. Just go to the beginning. We're going to hit play. And while it's playing, we're going to use the numbers on our keyboard to simply cut between the different camera angles. So let's give it a try. And so on. And when you're done editing the entire uh, the entire video, you just hit Control Shift D again, which turns off the multi camera editing, and then you can view what you've done. So let's do that. Let's just hit play. Let's 
say that um, in this clip I screwed up the playing, did something wrong that I don't want anyone to see because I want everyone to think that I'm a perfect guitar player. What you're simply going to do then is just enable multicam editing again, Control shift d Make sure that your uh, marker is set right here at the beginning of the clip and just change it to yeah, perhaps 2 or 1. You can also click on the video, where I recommend using the numbers on your keyboard. So let's put it to 1, turn off the multi camera editing again, and then just view it again. Much better. And now that you're happy with your uh, editing and your multi cam editing of your video, you can go through the uh, color correction part. And this is really easy and it's fun to play around with. Just go up to uh, Video Output Effects and then we're going to choose Color Corrector which is a nice tool. It's OK. And then I'm just going to put into the, into the lows and put maybe some... yeah let's see, that looks good some blue tones and low tones mids make it slightly warmer and the highlights it's important not to screw this up too much just gonna make it slightly warm you get a nice warm feeling of this and then you can play around with the saturation sometimes it looks good to put it at around 0.5 we're just going to keep it at 1. The gamma, you can always screw around with these settings just to make your video look more interesting. Let's say we're happy with that. You can also increase the preview quality and increase the size of the window to get a better look at your color correction. And now there's just one important thing to remember if you don't have a super fast computer. When you have applied uh, some of the filters, some color correction to your video, and let's say you put the preview at, at preview quality full, which is usually okay. If you now have added some filters that uh, require more processing power, the video can look more unsynchronized with the audio when you play it back. And in some in some extreme and in some extreme cases you might even get a lagging video. Alright, so let's say we're happy with our video. We're going to um, go to the exporting part, rendering part of our tutorial. Now we're just going to drag this over the part that we want to render. Let's say that we're happy with our entire project. Just gonna put this all the way to the end, like so. Then we're going to go up to File, Render As. And here you can see I already have my presets set up. Go to Main Concept, Main Concept, AVC, AAC, and Before. Then I basically used one of these internet uh, presets. I think those are included. And I made my own, which I'll just call the Internet HD 1080p YouTube. Click Customize Template. Include video, frame size, HD 1080p. We got the frame rate. It's important to set it to the same frame rate that you recorded your uh, video on your camera. Allow source to adjust frame rate will do this for you. And uh, we got the variable bitrate. I set it to a maximum bitrate of 20 million and average bitrate of 14 million, which works out pretty well. Gives you a good looking video. It does increase the size a little bit, it doesn't matter. 
audio, the fluid audio, 48 kHz, rate 192,000. And we got project, video rendering quality, this is important, put it at the best. It's going to take slightly more time to render, but it's going to look better. I'm not using any 3D modes, so don't bother with that. Press OK. Browse where you want to put the video. Put your title in here. Our awesome uh, guitar video that I before. And then finally hit render. And that pretty much concludes our tutorial. Make sure you uh, ask me in the comments below if you have any questions. And uh, if you like this video, please subscribe for more videos. If you have any requests for more future videos, please let me know. See ya!